Okay, so it isn't exactly the best lighting, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. So today I woke up at 5.30 a.m. because the only one crazy enough to be up at this time is you, dear. And second of all, because I'm a superhero and we got to go save the world. So i um, headed on the train and I headed into gym. When I got to gym, I done my chest, triceps and biceps because I was a little bit earlier today. I got there at eight on the dot, which is a good thing. And it also meant that I had time to do the last portion of my workout on the previous days. I was just doing like chest and triceps, but this day I got to do chest, triceps and biceps, which is nice, which is very nice. I also had a good workout today when, I, when I'm doing the chest press, or when I'm doing the extensions, ex especially sometimes i'll do like eight reps and then like i'll give up and then i'll do the remaining four but this time i think i've done all of them at maybe one exception on the triceps but i i done all of the chest and some of the triceps fully so like the whole 12 set which was nice anyway coffee time i went into ground cafe ground and and, and i got to ground cafe at like 905 like it was really good i was on time basically and it wasn't too busy at all it was really nice working in that I got a good uh, 45 minutes to 50 minutes a good solid chunk of time working on working on the stuff that I'm working on I got a flat white it was very nice as well uh, and then when 10 o'clock came of course um, because it's a Monday I don't know if I mentioned it's Monday the 21st of October I headed into I headed into the engineering building for our, our general relativity and gravity lecture I think this is the lecture which I followed and understood the most as he was going it as he was going through it on the board i think that's because last week i can't remember if it was accident accidental or purposeful i think it's a bit of both because i thought like you might as well do it you know um but i kind of like skimmed over the notes so i kind of had like a preview to what he was going over so i was able to kind of like it wasn't all new like i had some not understanding but like you know i'd seen it so i could like connect the dots and you know, I'm, I'm good at connecting dots. Yeah, I am good at connecting dots. Anyway, that was a really fun lecture. I really enjoyed it. I was filled with energy. The gym and then the coffee and then the writing, it always like fuels me up. Anyway, say goodbye to Ariane. And I went with uh, Machi um, to the Deloitte, to the Deloitte thing in Library Square. I signed up to them um, because I do need to, uh, I need to start looking into these things, you know, like jobs and whatnot. Anyway, something really nice happened in this two hours between my general relativity class and my physical cosmology class. Sounds kind of cool. Um, something nice happened. I bumped into a friend from Polity, uh, as well as another friend who was with them, um, but I didn't know who he was. But it was nice because I was like, are you guys getting lunch? They was like, yes. I was like, do you got, then they said they was, okay, so basically they was getting lunch and I was gonna warm up my food. So I was like, oh, why don't we go? I, I was gonna go to canal side and eat it by the river. Why don't we all kind of go together? And they was like, yeah. And so we went there and I know I don't have any clips of them, but it was me and the two of them. And we were all sitting on the, on the river bank by canal side eating lunch. And it was actually very nice. I actually said to them uh, when we was there, like, okay, this is like a, it's like a peak uni experience, you know, it's uh, it's nice. It, it was actually nice. I didn't say anything silly as well. Like I was just normal, you know. So just a quick side note, just a quick side note reflecting on this point. There was a guy who asks on my channel, do you have any advice for first years or just people who will start in uni in general? And my advice has always been the same. Have a routine, have a structure that allows you to be at uni that is independent of your lectures and whatnot. Because you see how here, because I have a routine and because I have a structure, I'm doing something in between. I bumped into them and I went to lunch with them. You see how I was able to do that because I have like a routine and I have like a, a structure, if that kind of makes sense. When I was at the lecture, I didn't have anything like that. So if you're just going to go to the lecture and then go home afterwards, you're not, you're going to miss out on those, those type of spontaneous moments you know uh, maybe people will agree maybe people are don't you don't you will socialize more with people on your way in and out of the library than you will in the library if that makes sense same thing with the lecture so that's why it's really good to have a routine have a structure the routine is catered to you it's so that you can achieve what you want to achieve and and 
you know, it's it's flexible and it's comfortable around you. You have to decide that. You kind of have to like negotiate with yourself what you're willing to do. And it allows for those type of moments, you know. And that that moment was only possible because I had seen them on previous occasions and very similar to this and we have had lunch together. So, so yeah, so that's just a nice little takeaway message for anyone who wants it. Um, have a routine, have a structure um, that you make around uni. So you can, ha so, so, so chance can have it that you, you bump into those moments like that. Anyway, after that, I headed into my physical cosmology class. He was going over, um, oh God, let me think. Uh, solving the fried, free, Friedman's equations. And yeah, we were solving the Fried, fried Man, I, I don't know how to say his name, but the Fried Man, the, the fried, we're going to call him the Fried Man. We were solving the Fried Man's equations. That's what we was doing in uh, a lot of this lecture involved just kind of like the driving equations and long, long derivations, actually. So that lecture was two to four. Then I headed into, and then I went back into Ground Cafe for round two. All right. Ding, ding. I got a tea and I got, I wanted to get a cinnamon roll, but they have these like new cherry bun things and I didn't see any cinnamon rolls and I didn't want the like the apple danish or, you know, like some of the other things that I buy. So I was like, okay, I'll try this cherry bun. And it was nice. However, I do prefer the cinnamon roll. Uh, don't get me wrong, this one was nice, but it was just, yeah, it, it just wasn't for me. So maybe you like it. it for me, it tasted kind of like a Krispy Kreme donut. But you know, but I wasn't really searching for a Krispy Kreme donut. Interesting. Anyway, um, I was sitting outside, uh, sitting outside, drinking the tea outside Grand Cafe, which was actually really enjoyable. It was nice to kind of get that fresh air, get the sunlight. You know, when it's cold and you have tea, it's very nice. Maybe that sounds weird to people, but it doesn't sound weird to me. So. You know, and, and you know, if you bring the tea inside, it's like, it's it's hot already. So you don't get the contrast between the hot and the cold, you know. Anyway, there was this guy who came, he sat next to me. He's like another guy who I'd been see, seeing around, you know, cause I consistently see him around. So he so he was walking by and actually he came to sit down for a while and we got into this very nice conversation. And he was asking me about like physics, my degree. And uh, you know, obviously, you know, just has like small talk. And it was funny because um, he asked me like, what's gravity? Just like a small talk question. And then I was like, oh, you know, I don't want to do this because he, because he was asking, right? So I had to give, I didn't have to give him, but like the way I explained it, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this really cliche thing. And I got my wrapper from Ground Cafe and I was like, and I was like this is space time. And then like I put like a scrunched up piece of tissue in the middle. And I was like showing how like, the way the mass is meant to bend the space time. You know that really like cliche thing, like I'm sure you see in like Interstellar and you know, like all the all the physics documentaries do and stuff. But he was asking, so I did I did tell him. I did tell him it's really cliche though. But yeah, that was nice. Anyway, then I headed into the library to do two I, I ended up doing two and a half study sessions. Yes, I was working on a quantum mechanics problem sheet. So on this occasion, Chat GPT was a really big help. During the during this like period of time, I I I, I copied and pasted the question into ChatGPT, but then I was like, or, or or should I say beforehand, I was like, I'm gonna send you a question. I have the solutions for it because the guy sent us the solutions. I don't want you to answer it, but I want you to. So so I said to him, here's the question. I want you to look at it. Here's the uh, I have the solutions. I don't want you to give me the solutions. But there's something about this question that was throwing me off because it's all about like eigenvectors and eigenvalues and like they teach you these things, but no one actually says like what they are. Like they're just this, they're just this like mysterious vague thing that like, you know, no one really understands what they are or at least from, from what I've asked, you know, like people tell me how to solve for them and, you know, but no one's actually explained what they are. Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? So, uh, Anyway, so basically I was like, there's something about this question that's throwing me off. Can you help, can we work through it together? And can we like, 
you know, can we try and find what's what's throwing me off so that I can solve it? That's that's what I said. And chat GPT, if you can communicate your thoughts to it, it is so helpful, you know. And then he found it immediately. He was like, oh, I think this is what's throwing you off. Because I was like asking him some questions. And he was like, I think this is what's throwing you off. And I was like, yes, that is what's throwing me off. And he said, this is throwing you off because it feels like you're skipping a, a step. So basically there's a step that the question is taking that it's e that it's easy to understand but obviously i'm not understanding it so that may be the missing link that's the bit that's um uh, throwing me off that's the reason because i don't have that missing link i'm not able to connect the dots now i said just previously i'm good at connecting the dots um so yeah so that was really good i was working in the library till late so that was approximately from like five to about seven actually so and i've come here now to film this video so this video is freshly made on the day and um, i'm going to go home now thank you so much for watching um yeah i think i'll leave it at that